Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I just wanted to share because I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like it's in my heart. I want to share it with you guys. You know, I see a lot of people that are confused or frustrated. They're like, oh, I'm not getting any results right away. I just don't notice anything. And like, you know what? We just have to be real with ourselves. You know, we got to say like, how far did I have gone so far this month? Like, did I work out? Did I eat better? Did I drink more water? What am I missing? You should ask yourself those questions or do I have an autoimmune or am I taking any any medications because that may slow down my progress and that's okay. Everybody's journey is going to be at different speeds, okay? When I started my journey, I had an IUD and it gave me hormones and I gained a lot of weight. My normal weight was about 160, 165 and I went up to 204 pounds within a year, okay? So when I started, when I took it out, so when I got that IUD removed, I started to lose weight by itself. I hadn't even started taking the trim yet. I lost maybe about five pounds and then I kind of was stuck there. I just had this weight that I didn't know where, it, like I couldn't, like it was weird. You feel your body and it just doesn't feel like your body, you know, like it felt like I had a fat suit on over my body or something. Um, it just didn't feel natural. Like all the bloating that I had, it just didn't feel real. Like it just didn't make sense. Okay. So that was how I was feeling initially. Okay. This was before I took trim and I was just stuck with this extra weight that, that was weighing me down and causing all kinds of exhaustion and depression. And like, I was feeling back fat touching each other. It was like awful. Okay. And for somebody who did not grow up having weight issues, it's even tra more traumatizing. I'm not used to it. Now, I understand that, you know, everybody's body is different and we carry our weight different too. So you could have the same weight I have and carry it beautifully. I just did not carry it good at all. It just was not good. So when I started taking trim and I started doing BioCell, I noticed the first couple of weeks my digestion started to change. I started to use restroom a little bit more often, which for me was good because I used to have issues with using the bathroom. Um, I was, my appetite changed. I wasn't as hungry all the time, but then I had days when I was super hungry. So it's okay. So the pictures you're about to see right now is me at my worst. Initially, I was overweight like 194, okay? And then literally overnight, it felt like in January, I was 204. And I literally started looking into Modera in February, in the beginning of February, and I got the enzyme pills. I tried those and I loved them. And so then I decided to get the trim at the end of February and started my journey officially the first week, the first day of March. And so you're gonna see some pictures of before my journey started. point I really was considering getting liposuction and getting a whole surgery done because I could not even handle my own body none of my clothes fit nothing fit I could literally only wear my sweatpants and even those were super tight on me my underwear I went up to it like an extra large and literally you guys don't my mom didn't even recognize me and my my sister-in-law asked me if I was pregnant okay so just to give you an idea of my journey and how crazy it was when I was at that point that was my rock bottom At that point, that was three weeks into my weight loss journey when I started to start to see the bloating going down in my stomach. Stretch marks were still there. Everything was kind of saggy still. Um, I hadn't added the firming foam yet. So that was my journey right then and there. Just the trim and the bio cell and the digestive enzyme pills. Those were the three things I started with the first month. On March 10th, I noticed that my weight had gone down a little bit more, like I lost another two or three pounds, and my bloating had gone down a lot more. I felt less bloated than I was on March 6th or before that, so it was definitely an improvement. I could actually start to see my waistline going down. 
I started to feel motivated. And so I, at that point, I started taking pictures of some of my food to just stay more accountable. I would send it to my mom. Sometimes I would post it on Instagram and Facebook. So I'm going to just show you right now. There's going to be a few pictures of some of the food that I ate through this journey. By week five, my body had completely changed and I had already added the firming foam. I had started that about week four. Like after week four, I had already started the firming foam. And I was kind of shocked because I was like, eh, it's just a foam. I don't think it's going to do much, but it actually did. And if you guys saw my stomach today compared to where I was, you probably would be like, there's no way you did something. I'm like, no, no. The food, the supplements, the activity, committing to what I ate and what I did totally changed my body composition, totally changed it. So check this out. So on week eight, that's where I really, really noticed the change. Like my waistline was showing, my abs were flatter. I noticed a lot less puffiness and a lot less swelling and it just looked like a natural belly like my face and my body were finally starting to match up to each other and I was feeling like 33 again instead of like way older than what I was um, and that was all with eating vegetarian and eating mindfully and trying not to do all the toxic stuff and I'm telling you it really worked for me. Doesn't mean it works for everybody, okay? This was my journey. This is what worked for me. And I had to play around and try different things until I found what worked for me. So I really do hope that you find what works for you. But this is my final photo that I have right so far. Then I want to say about like the end of month three, I decided I was going to do a self spray tan thing. And take some pictures just to see like how it all looks at 90 days, you know. And um, I was down 22 pounds and now I'm down 24 or 25 pounds by now. Um, but that right there was probably the best I've ever had my stomach since I've had kids. So here we go. Can we just talk about the skincare for a minute? Oh my God, their skincare is amazing. So I was already loving my skin and how it was looking, but once I added the self-proof uh, skincare line, their eye cream, their moisturizer, their face foam facial mask, and their serum, my whole skin just t did a 360. Like I swear I'm like at 25 years or 23 years old now my skin. It's just a whole other skin. Even skin tone, like everything. So if the collagen wasn't doing enough, I can guarantee you the skincare just put it over to the next level. I couldn't even believe my eyelashes. Just everything in my skin completely changed. I am forever grateful for that skincare and I'm never gonna stop using it. But let me show you those results. not least you will notice when you change your diet and you have the right vitamins in your body even your eye color sort of changes the glimmer something inside your soul just totally changes my eye color got lighter with time like it got more clear looking because my my eating was better so I was like healthier um I'm just I'm just like floored and I'm just so excited that I get to be in this journey with you guys and just show you all the awesome things that I've learned in my journey. I hope that you guys enjoy your journey. It takes time. It's okay that you're not getting results in five minutes. Don't think about it like a race. Think about it like your journey, your story. Stay vigilant. Try everything. Take your pictures before and afters. Share that with friends and family. 
so they can be inspired to maybe want to do something true. You could change lives. You could save other people. You guys can do this, okay? You guys can get results, and the supplements are going to help you get there, but you have to do some part of it too. You have to drink that water, eat that food that you're supposed to eat that's going to be good for your body. Don't starve yourself, okay? Exercise. Don't stress yourself. Figure out ways to manage your stress level because that's huge too. Check your hormones. Make sure your hormones are in check, okay? And be consistent and be patient. Everybody's body journey is going to be at different speeds. Please be patient. Don't stop before, don't give up before you get there. That's the whole point. Fight for it. You deserve it. You deserve this. You can do this. Thank you for listening. I'd be happy to help you guys. We all want you to be successful. And just so you know, I just want to make sure everybody understands supplements are not everything. You have to. Do something more to get those results you want. But remember, these supplements we take is what's helping us get those results faster, more efficiently, more effectively. Okay, and that's why I love these products because they have helped me a lot. And I have gone through weight loss journeys many times in the past and I've never seen results this efficiently ever. Even my skin has changed my hair, everything. So it's not just about the weight loss. It's about how you feel on the inside and your whole journey as a whole, not just what you look like on the outside, but how you feel on the inside as well. So I just hope everybody has an awesome, awesome day and feel free to reach out to me or anybody on the team. If you have any questions or help or need help. Thank you. And, have and a I leave you here today with my motivational video. I just, I want you to know that I'm here for you and that I'm here with you in your journey. I'm in a journey too, still going through it. And I have my days when I'm more bloated than other days. I have days when my weight fluctuates. Please know that's part of the journey. Just keep going and don't give up. Consistency is key. And if you have a, a mentor or somebody who's already supporting you or a social marketer that you've already purchased from, mm -hmm. use that person to support you. Talk to them. They are there for you as well. They're there for you to be successful, but you're more than welcome to use my page to help you get there too, okay? You don't have to be my, my person, okay? I wanna help everybody. But if you wanna be my person and you don't have a person, feel free to hit me up. All right, thanks No everybody. one invests in you. Invest in yourself. If no one believes in you, believe in yourself. Even if you don't see the results right away, keep showing up until you do see the results. Even if you don't see the